So, What Makes Stupid Fucking Bird by Aaron Posner a woolly play? We associate Woolly Mammoth with contemporary work that's brand new, that is cutting edge, that's provocative, that's teeing up an important conversation in one way or another. Um, why does a play based on a, a, a source from Chekhov, uh, who wrote in the late 19th century, even qualify? Well, what Aaron is doing is actually taking just the bare bones of an old play and essentially deconstructing it. He's taking a very personal response to each scene, but bringing a variety of very contemporary writing techniques um, to bear. If you think of it a little bit like a play by Chuck Mee, if any of you know Full Circle, which we did at Woolly Mammoth, or Big Love, Chuck is actually a collage writer. And not unlike Shakespeare, a play by Chuck Mee might have some songs in it, and then it has some monologues, and then it has some scenes, and it takes a kind of free-form, somewhat experimental approach towards telling a story rather than just a simple sort of linear narrative. Well, Aaron does the same sort of thing in Stupid Fucking Bird, and it takes an old play and makes it feel very, very new. In fact, at our first rehearsal, um, one of the people who attended said the play reminded them a little bit of the kind of plays Woolley used to do in the late 80s by Harry Condolian and Nikki Silver. Most of you probably don't remember those writers. So if you would like to now hear a little bit more about the design process and the design elements for Stupid Fucking Bird, click here. And if you would like to hear Aaron Posner, the playwright himself, talk a little bit about his inspiration for writing the play, click here. Or if you are finished with your choose your own online interactive uh, interview experience, <laughs> click here.